That's with two in the first. They've added four in the second. But after way inside and Alonzo had to move his leg. Grand slam. And they beat out. Nemo runs. Pitch outside. Throw to second by Ruiz. Not in time. Alonzo tried to hold and he stopped it. Ball four. Boy. <laughs> Looked like a very difficult check swing to call. But first base umpire Ryan Will said he did not swing. I thought it was the right call. He held it. Close. So a two out walk. And Some, here's Michael Conforto. Someone's screaming unbelievable down there. Might be the skipper. And someone just and got he's gone. Ryan Wills just ejected somebody in the Nationals dugout and it looks like it's Davey Martinez. Now another ejection. That's home plate umpire Ben May that stepped in. I don't know if he didn't see Ryan Wills throw somebody out of the game or if he's ejecting somebody else. Ah, shades of 2011, Bob Davidson, Jerry Lane, and Clint Hurdle for the best simultaneous ejection in baseball history. That was a double whammy. Jerry Lane and Bob Davidson both tossing him simultaneously. To me, it sounded like Gerardo Porro was saying unbelievable down there. Davey's going to get his money's worth. Can't walk out there because he's in that big cast. They've got the crutches waiting for him there behind the bench. It sure looked like. Alonzo might have gone a little bit too far on that check swing. They've got a good view of it over there in the dugout. So that might have been a double ejection of Davey Martinez there. Check out the side swing again. Close. A lot of frustration down there. There's a lot of people in that first base dugout that aren't used to losing like this or seeing, you know, an inning like this. It's understandable. Who had uh, some ankle surgery a couple of days ago and is not feeling very well right now, both because of that and the fact that his team is down six nothing in the second inning and they've lost six games in a row, and he's going to have to hop his way. Out of the dugout and down to the clubhouse. He needs crutches. He looks like Walter Brennan, the real, real McCoys. It's mighty peculiar when a 13-year-old woman still thinks about school.